Hi, I'm Stuart and welcome to Sinet Television. Now, of course, we have a variety of different types of customers that we serve here in the Northwest and throughout the United States and around the world as well, which we greatly appreciate. One of our customers had us put together a canine patrol vehicle. Canine, of course, is for the doggy who sits in the back of the car. And if you're naughty, doggy gets released and doggy may not necessarily be nice to you, but usually they're very friendly. Anyway, we're going to go across to Chris who's over at Starcar, which is taking a look at this patrol canine vehicle. Very interesting build from the gang at Starcar. So from me here in the main studio, let's go across to Chris. Well, thank you, Stuart, and thank you for joining us here at Star Cars, where the guys are hard at work on a new installation project that's involving a pair of 2016 Ford Utility SUVs. Now, we've seen a few installations that the guys have put together so far with this Ford platform that have been done up as patrol vehicles for transportation. Well, you're going to see some similarities here with the utilities in regards to some products and some of the layout, but some changes that we've thrown at you that go into these guys to really Really make them different from others is the fact that they're for canine. So Ray Allen center of transport to go along with a four-legged friend and also a really nifty truck bolt that's going to keep all the cargo contained in the back end. So utility here, installation process is underway, front end's been decommissioned, interior stripped out. Ben happens to be working on the front bumper here which is going to be getting some wheel and vertex and also some of the stud mount microns up in the grill. So I'll go ahead and let you guys now take a look at the utility here, take a look at the utility on the other side of the shop that's a bit further along so you'll notice the big differences between the stripped version and the near completed version. On the front bumpers of the utilities that the guys are working on, in this case specifically Ben, he is doing vertexes that are going to be surface mounted onto the front bumpers for lower intersection protection. Once he is done here, the finished result is going to be the same as the utility that's dressed up with them already. <laughs> with another day here at Star Cars and a fresh haircut to go along with it, give you a look at some of the 
product that you saw Devin and Austin working on previously. So Austin's got the Ray Allen canine cage all buttoned up, so just a few more accessories to go in in front of it when it comes to the Havis console and equipment going into it. But here in the back, Devin's handiwork still going and the wiring getting a lot cleaner as you can see here. So a neat thing that's going on back here that Star Cars is doing in the utilities is a combination of a truck vault basin, which is the big panel here, and on top of that, a nice big cargo fixture with drawers to go on. Below that, they have added a product from our friends at Troy, which is the bottom electronic shelf. So between a truck vault upper and cargo fixture and a Troy lower, everything nice and clean and easy for the end user when it comes to servicing and equipment storage. We're catching up with Danny and as usual he is working away on the wiring and center console on the installation process of the canines. And right here, a bit of a unique piece of equipment. What do you have there, Danny? This is the control box for the hot and pop alarm system. So along with the hot and pop alarm system, so this is a module that you're getting connected. You were telling me before, it's gonna then get mounted up in the center console there. And then this is the control module that we really never get a chance to see. So this is the Ray Allen control system. So this takes care of the alarm, door poppers, fans, and automatic window drops as well. So this is the brains of the operation for all the neat safety features that are auto built in. Mm -hmm. Before it gets bolted in, here is a look at the truck vault storage system that's going into the back of each of the canines. So this is the base section and two open spaces to accommodate the sliding drawers here with heavy duty grab handles, an incorporated combination lock and key override. While the front bumper is getting lit up, this is a perfect time for the guys to have room to install the pair of siren speakers. So our canine utilities each going to be equipped with 200 watts of output using a pair of our SNSP1s and a set of utility mounting brackets. This section here is now going to be home to the pair of speakers. Well, the K9 Utility is all finished by the guys here at Star Cars and a wonderful over-the-top job they did as usual. For a 2016 platform, this is one of my favorites thus far. So we're going to go ahead and give you a look at the finished vehicle and the functionality it has as well as the internals all buttoned up. On the control head, Whelan's 295 SDA1, the progressive slide switch operates our warning system. We're going to give you a look at this in a unique way now, tying into the position 1, 2, and 3 of the utility and the front, side, and rear activation of the lighting system. Position one on the control system activates rear facing lighting. So we have the red, blue, and amber in the back of the Liberty 2 light bar the red blue through the ions affixed onto the spoiler and the white pop using the code three twist lock hideaways. Move to position two, we keep the rear lighting system going, but add additional lighting to the side profile of the vehicle and red and blues to the front as well as white for intersection coverage. So side third windows, wheel and dual Avengers, red and blue to the front of the Liberty two light bar, red and blues for the mirror beam kits are now activated and flashing away. In the headlight buckets, whites from the Code 3 MR6 light heads, and vertexes rounding out the rear safety system, again, position 1 and position 2 activated. Position 3 offers rear warning, side, front, and additional white pop. So alley lights activated in flashing format, as well as the center high intensity takedowns, and you'll notice in the front grille, the white microns flashing away. When it comes to our utility, plenty of illumination for the front of the vehicle can be found with a few push buttons and the throw of a switch. And our Liberty 2 light bar can steady burn the high intensity takedowns. For driver's side, can activate the Unity Spotlight, and in this we have one of our SNSL1s, so a two degree high intensity spotlight beam, ideal for patrol and traffic stops. And for an additional illumination feature in the center of the front grille, so nice and low level, is a white steady burn for the stud mount microns. In case you're wondering how this is done, giving these two different functions, steady burn and flashing for safety, Star Cars has used a Whelan ULF44 control module, giving us these two functions for this one light head. 
Here is a look at the truck vault storage fixture, all buttoned up, ready to rock. So plenty of room when it comes to the two slide out drawers and keeping various cargo stored away. Nice and safe too when it comes to the locking mechanism. So if you're going to use these for weapon storage, very nice to have here. Also, you'll notice on the top of the box, a big flat area. So should you need to have something on top of this or add something else to it in the future, nice big platform for additions. When the hatch is up, rear lighting can be obstructed. So to help resolve that, vertexes have been Frenched into the hatch bottom to keep the operators nice and safe when getting cargo. The Ray Allen canine system is designed just for the four-legged counterpart from the ground up. So plenty of room, nice traction pad basin, plenty of openings for air travel, and also tying into the brain. So the control module you saw Danny install into the console, automatic safety features. So door popper, window drops, automatic fan control, everything that you need for an officer and the counter canine. That's gonna bring an end to our presentation with the team here at Star Cars who has done an over the top job and a big thank you to them. 2016 Ford Interceptor utility platform turned into a ideal canine utility vehicle. I'm Chris, thanks for joining me here on SirenNet Television. Back to you, Stuart. Well, thanks, Chris. A very interesting presentation indeed, my adieus to him. I'm off to the pub, by the way, but you've been watching Sinet Television, and as always, thanks for watching. I wonder if it's open. Let's go check it out. <laughs>